die now or for something awesome. We got the Evil Dead here today. For those of you who don't know, the film is about a group of college kids who go out for a nice little getaway at a cabin in the woods. While they're looking around in the basement, they find a weird book called the Necronomicon, which is a book that can bring the dead back to life. But, you know, it's not like, you know, the normal way. Like, it's either, oh, they're back to normal, or they're zombies. These are zombie-demon hybrids called deadites. And after everyone either got turned into deadites or got killed by one, Ash Williams now has to defend himself by either destroying the Necronomicon or dis- or killing his friends who are now deadites. Now, the best th- character that people remember from all of these movies is easily Ash Williams. But he doesn't become the full Ash that we all know and love in this movie. He's actually more similar to Shaggy from Scooby-Doo in a way. A guy who's mainly just there along for the ride and is a bit cowardly and who ends up, usually ends up saving the day in the end. Although I guess in Scooby-Doo it's more the dog who does the deal, but you know what, anyway. It's not till the second and third movie where he finally becomes the hilarious gun-toting jerkish idiot that we all know and love. But Ash is still entertaining here. Speaking of entertaining, while the other films would lean more towards horror comedy, this film is straight up horror, and it's a very effective horror film, and there's some moments that genuinely frightened me, and were pretty suspenseful. And the blood and gore is actually really well done. So if you're looking for a movie that has some really good blood and some really good gore, then... This probably won't be your goriest option, but it's still a pretty good option, man. And Bruce Campbell put himself through a lot of troubles while making this movie. Constantly throwing himself around, hitting himself on shelves. It's awesome. And even though this film isn't a comedy, there still is some slight little humor to it on how cheap the film was to make. The film was low budget. It, there was very limited filming locations. And only a few different characters. But what they did with the budget they had. It's actually really good. Particularly the makeup on all the deadites. Plus there's loads of fun little camera tricks that they do. A lot of them being point of view shots. Especially the one towards the beginning of the film. Where a bunch of branches keep hitting the camera. And towards the end where you know this scene happens. After the film's release, Evil Dead would become a huge franchise, spawning sequels, a remake, video games, comic books, a TV show, and even a musical. But the original movie will still remain as, well, groovy. And thus, another tale of the House of Terror has come to a close.